Brazilian teacher Guilherme is also a student of life, a lover of art and self-taught in Chinese. Going to Taiwan it was always my dream. You know, I have a lot of friends from Taiwan. They are always recommending me to go there because I could speak Chinese. They said, oh, you cannot miss it. Inga. Inga. This one, I don't know, but this one, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> you are amazing. And now I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, so. It is, it's my dream. Go, 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 go! A bona fide artiste herself, Patty is going to accompany Guilherme as they mold, draw, and paint their way around Taiwan. Art is not only about beauty, but also induces recall of past events and emotions. It's a major part of Taiwanese culture, from carvings to pottery to paintings, and we fusion it up with our very own Taiwanese island style. It's also a way how we communicate. All right, look at wow. this. Well, this is the ruins of Long Ten Bridge. It was an art created by the island because there yeah. happened an earthquake. Earthquake? Yeah. Wow, that's why it's fallen there. Yeah, and even the trees attended what? the art. Yeah, there's a tree there and a lot of vegetation. Yes, but unlike what you have back home, like no natural disasters. Yeah, no natural disasters. Taiwan is a very lively island. Yeah. We have earthquakes, we have typhoons, we have everything. Wow. Yeah. A nature job. Yeah. yeah. I never felt the, the earth tremble, like tremble. They have no idea. But I think it's going to be scary. Yeah. You want to try it? No. <laughs> no. Thanks. No, thanks. I hope it doesn't happen when I'm here. Around Meli's mountainous area, the clay soil is perfect for growing camphor trees and tea trees. So this is why Meli is famous for the wood carvings. Guilherme and I aren't going to chop down any trees for our art recreation. We're going to start from scratch. I, I mean, literally scratch. So this place is a wooden arts and craft workshop. Okay. So people that come here, they can enjoy you know, the nature and making their own artwork. Wow. Let your inspiration flow and make whatever, like Dola Emo. Wow, that's nice. You know that's right? Yeah, I know it. You watch it, all right. Yeah. And the best thing is all of these bits and pieces are from right over there, in the woods. Wow. Yeah, taken from the nature and making your artwork, I think. It's a great way to express your artsy self. Yeah. All right, so let's go through these. Yeah. Pick your own, and let's okay. go start. Yeah, I, I, I like that idea that they got the wood from the around, and they didn't choose like, oh, this is the must be the best quality wood. No, you can use any kind of wood, and I think it's really great for the environment because even though they have imperfections, they are so special, and they can be even more like really nice thing, like great work. We have a good value. At that time, you were just focusing at that time, and you were kind of thinking about everything, and that it is not going to look like anyone else, no, it's just yours. You need to relax, or else you are going to be nervous, and you will not be able to think and be creative. Yeah, you will feel blocked. So cute. So you can finish. Something close! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> it's this guy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this guy. And, so cute. Yes. And yours is finished already? Yeah. Yours is super cute. Okay, it looks like a dog, a bit like a, a, bear. a ha hamster yeah. or a bear. But hey, this is art. Yeah. Whatever you see, whatever reflects your, you know, reflects your in your mind. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's that. So what is it? <laughs> well, I made a Brazilian bear with the colors of the Brazilian flag. It was fun, and I think it was good for the first time that I did it. Whoa, wow. look at the lights. Even the lighting is specially picked. Yeah. Hello, hello. Uh, we're going to take two rooms. Yes, this is your room. Okay, okay. all right. Bye -bye. Yes. All right, let's go okay. down to the first floor. Wow. So this is a fusion wow. of, you know, kind of the modern Japanese kind of interior design. This is the main point. You have your own spa pool in your room. So come on, let's head out. 
These are two pools. This is the cold one, cold and this one? is the hot one. Okay. And this is a natural hot spring. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Yes, so enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay. God. So, it was my first time going to a hot spring. We don't have that back in Brazil because we don't have natural disasters. We don't have volcanoes. We don't have like a lot of tornadoes, that, that kind of thing. We don't have it. So when I got there at the hot spring, I was so shocked because it was so hot. I, I was not used to that kind of temperature because in Brazil, like we would take hot shower, but it's not that hot. But after like two minutes, I kind of got, okay, oh, so relaxing. At that time, I just laid back, you know, and just enjoying it. My room was amazing. I had my own hot spring in my own like room and I could go there anytime I wanted. Then, Miaoli, your free day. What did you do on your free day? I always wanted to buy some books with Chinese characters to be able to learn more words and, you know, improve my Chinese. So I decided to go buy some books. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we went to like a museum. We went to a cultural park. <laughs> and I was able to play with like, like the dragon. I don't know the name of that kind of, it's like a bowl that I had to, to hold it. And then it was uh, running all around and the dragon started following me. I was there, like, like a dance. It was so fun. Hello guys, I've just arrived at Taiwan right now. I'm really tired because the flight was really long and I didn't sleep for three days. My eyes, yeah, hey engine. <laughs> I think it was a great experience. I, I, I've learned a lot of things, and it will be unforgettable. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm Patty. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Finally, <laughs> I, uh, you traveled all the way. The hassle yeah, of traveling. How was it? It was a long trip. You must be really exhausted. I'm but exhausted. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, me too. It's yeah. really nice to meet you. And I know you speak Chinese. Yeah. I speak Mandarin. And I was looking at you reading this. Can you yeah, read this? I can read a few of them. Not, not all of them. All right. Sing. Sing. Inga. Inga. This one, I don't know, but this one, Boba. Oh my god. <laughs> you are amazing. Yeah, I, I've learned by myself. Yeah, I, I've, downloaded, I've downloaded a few books and then I've learned a few words and after that I went to, the, to YouTube, watched some videos and then I got really curious about Taiwan. All right, oh, and, and I know um, you like languages and yeah. you like um, culture yeah, and culture. arts. And arts, yeah. yeah. So I took you to a ceramics museum. Oh, Let's okay. go inside and have a look. Look wow. at this, this, the architecture the is really architecture, amazing. Yeah. Well. It looks really modern. Yeah, it's pretty special and you get clean lines, um, a nice space to relax. So let's head in. Oh, I really love this building. It's so huge, right? It's really big and it's really tall. And the best thing is, I think, is the lighting. Oh, yeah. Like 360 lighting and it's so bright. Yeah, it seems that, that you're outside the building. Yeah. And would you want to make your own pottery and bring it home? Then of course, why of not? Of course. So we start from here, look at the artworks and get some inspiration, then make our own. Okay. Right now I'm at the Ceramic Museum. You can really feel the emotions of the ceramic artwork. You can really feel their sadness inside their soul. <laughs> I love to experience like topics about art or even the culture. I really love knowing about different cultures and the languages. Yeah. 
So before touching the actual clay, we kind of have to know, understand how it's made. So this is an ancient kiln. Yeah, I'm really curious. And this is really, really old. I think it may be to hundreds of years old. And wow. this is the only one left. Left? Really? Oh. Yeah. All right, let's go let's inside go. the shop. Yeah. So me and Patty, like we are a kind of art person. So she are kind of arranged it for me, like a lot of artistic uh, activities. And then we had a lot of fun. So this is the pottery class section. You can make your own stuff. Oh, I wonder who do we have here? Wow, Janet. Janet! You can tell us if I can sky. I can still tell uh, it's you. Welcome to Taiwan. Yeah. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Betty. Hello, Jin. We're giving her a surprise as well. Oh, I know. I, I watched like... one of your episodes. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yes, I know you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank I watched you. one episode that you were explaining about Taipei. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you can actually see Taiwan for yourself. Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm very happy to have you here. Yeah. Let me introduce you to your teacher today. This is Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin. Nice to meet you. Nice you. And Patty. Ni hao, Hi. Have a so, seat. <laughs> so, um, well, this fella here is a very artistic guy. Yeah. Yes, Excellent. so he's... He brought you to the perfect place. Yes. Wow. I'm going to start with this bag. 好，接下来我们要处理这个杯子的边缘，所以我们必须要把它捏盘。可是我会不会越来越开啊？所以你要挤压的动作。<笑>所以你在一边挤压的过程，你可以发现这个捏的动作呢，它会整个让你的陶土很扎实。啊、oh, ，This process is soothing. It is. It's really relaxing, isn't it? I, know. I thought it was going to be really, really hard, and I was going to get like some nervous. But you are so focused, like shaping it. Then you forget forget everything, and then you kind of relax. So you forget everything about out the outside world. Okay, so our cups unfortunately are going to take about three weeks uh, to finish. <laughs> yes, so we'll send it back to you in okay. Brazil. Okay, <laughs> we can stay yeah. one month. I would um, love to. <laughs> um, and so because we can't drink from our own cups, uh, Mr. Lin is going to treat us to cups that he's made himself, and we're going to try some special tea, and then we'll oh. taste the difference. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 那今天我们用这个壶来泡它，因为它除了造型之外哦，它的做法是属于用手捏的手法去捏它。嗯，对，那相对它泡出来的一个味道也会不一样，一定不一样。好、哦，那你们可以先品一下第一道茶的味道。啊、uh, ，Are you feeling a bit of like soothing sleepiness now? Good night. Okay, bye, bye. I like it. It's really nice the taste and the consistency. Yeah. Yes, it has. It's a not that aftertaste. bitter, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's not the smell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Even imagine? I am. Yeah. Cheers. Let's cheers. Who's having the champagne? So, Jeremy, your adventure here is just beginning. Yep. Patty is going to accompany you throughout your trip around Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And I have one last thing for you that's been burning a hole in my pocket. Wow. We are giving you a hundred thousand NT dollars to spend as you wish mm -hmm. around the island. You can really? buy presents. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This is for you to spend your day off along the trip, however you want. Wow. Thanks. I, I think I can keep it safe. I will keep it safe for, for you. <laughs> All right, have fun. Patty, no joke, Annie. How can I take care of you? And I'll make sure you spend your money. Okay, once. let's go. <laughs> So after receiving his whole bunch of spending money, I'm taking Glare Me to one of my favorite places in Taiwan, where you can eat up, you can shop up, and can play up with the most traditional Taiwanese kids' toys only seen in Taiwan. Or is it? Okay, so this is the old street. It's another place where you get Taiwanese culture and the Western culture fusion. It's built in the Japanese times when they ruled Taiwan. Oh. And the fun thing is they use leftovers to make toys, like oh. tops, oh. like that one. 
<laughs> that one's so huge. Let's can have can a you look. actually play that that big? Of course, of course. Wow. This job is really special. It has a collection of tops from all over the world. Do you have anything like this at home? Yeah, yeah, we have a, a similar one. That's awesome. So, would you want to try this kind of format? On yeah. The top? Okay. Oh my god! Uh, oh, you are good. I thought I was going to be bad because it was a long time that I didn't play it. But actually, the first time that I played it, I got it. The first time. Now my turn, huh? Wow! I did it! <laughs> oh my god! No, oh, it's not difficult. Hello, watermelon. And it's going on forever. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. It's really interesting that we have a connection yeah. through these kind of toys. Brazil and Taiwan. Yeah, bridge. Of like culture. a bridge of culture. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. But, you know, I'm going to take you to the experts, the top, top players. Wow. Can you imagine what they can do with this little fella? I don't know. No? Let's see. All right. Look forward to it. Wait yeah. and see. So I've heard before the people that are best in top playing techniques are right here in Dashi. Guilherme was saying back home in Brazil, kids play tops, but they use it for battle. So I brought him here to show him how Taiwanese kids are going to blow his mind. All right. This school is called Meihua Elementary School, and it's famous for winning many, many champions competing tops. Look at the shape of this. It's a the, the champion, yeah. champion, champion, everything. Oh, they're practicing. Hi, Jiaolian. Hi. 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 You see the size of this top? Really it's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's you cannot, you cannot even move it. Oh, it's like we use Thai Jin Wei Dan Wei. It's about 60 kgs. Okay, 60 kgs. Okay. I'm really weak. Look. It's, I it's cannot. A, it's heavier than you? Yeah. When we play this, we need to learn a little bit of a trick. Then we will see how we can play this. All right. One, two, three. Everyone find your place. Good. 好，有一个，哎、oh. ，哇，有一个卡住了，好酷啊！你们，接下来我们就难度会稍微高一点，飞天陀螺，好，听口令，来，一、二、三，上来，哇，太好了，厉害，太好了，哇，太强了，好棒，我们全校四十一个学生里面，活的学生占了二十。哇，半个学校都是。好，加油！六连环，他要做六个动作，尤其是从背后走，哇，胯下，哇，换手，四，背后，五，六，哇，好吧。Amazed, they were so skilled, and they had had a lot of tricks to show us. So I was, wow, I got really surprised. Oh my God! Wow! Yes! Yeah, I, I used to play, but I was not, not really skilled. Yeah, it's a long time that I don't play that. Right now, the kids in Brazil only play the phone, and even the, the soccer team, because the, at that time, and then the kids would gather together, form a team, and then they would play soccer outside in the street. Yeah, now it's different. Now you you not see kids uh, outside the, the street. They are just stay at home. 据说打这个有两个最大的功效，第一个是可以。治疗我们的五十件，真的。第二个就是，如果老板对生气，老板对我们不好， yeah. 上面可以写老板的名字。Yeah, I'm gonna write our producer's name on it and then whip. Whip, whip. Just kidding. <笑>那我们最后一个，那边有一条细细细细的线。啊哈，陀螺会在上面走。What? No way. 加油。骗人。加油。骗人。酷。不急不急不急。哇。可以来下。走，往后边，往后退，往后退，贴地，不要碰到地就好，不要碰到地，还没，还没，还没，还没，好，走，哦 ，Oh my God， 哥，哎，我好感动 ，I'm so moved，This is so awesome。哎，那我跟你们说哦，我跟这位哥哥，我们只会玩那个最小的，最小，我们想要挑战看看大一点的，加油加油，第一下用力比较重要哦，来，一二三，用力。很棒，好，就是这样跑 ，OK， 太好了，哇 ！You have to be a fast runner to play this, otherwise it will stop. You ready? When you're ready, take your time. One, two, three, go, 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 go! Oh! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ow! Shall we stick with the small one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
seeing that and experiencing it. Yeah. They, they encourage you. Encourage me, yeah. I think I can work hard on my Chinese and uh, languages. Because seeing them, they're doing really difficult things. So I need to do more, work harder. Yeah, it, it, I think it, it will change my life. Talking about famous arts and crafts, Taiwanese glass would definitely come to mind. So we head to Xinzhu, where it's known as the glass factory of Taiwan. So this is Mr. Lin. Hello. And he's Hello. Hello. This is my friend, Lin Mei. We're here to make glass. Do you know what glass is? Glass. glass. Yeah. yeah. So glass. Arts and crafts are created wow. here. How do you make it? You want to make one? Let's try it. My father, he works with glass, like the plates, cups. He will do like the, in the fire, that really hot thing. He, he used to tell me, but I, I never saw it. And it's not something artistic here in Taiwan. It was kind of amazing because they can do almost anything with the, the glass. So amazing. And I don't know how they can shape it that well. This is a glass. Oh, it looks like the sugar. It's, it's growing bigger. Yeah. Oh. oh God, it was almost feeling like it. I felt that, that my face was burning. <laughs> I don't know, uh, like a chair, a special made for that. And then I had to put, uh, hold my hand there and just move it round and round. Okay, so follow him, follow him. Okay. What does it look like to you? Well, for me, it looks like blood vessel. Okay. Okay, we'll go back to our seat. Open up slowly. Open up slowly. See how big you want your cup to be. I, I got scared at first because it was really hot. You could see like it, it was kind of a red color. So I could say, wow, this is so hot. And then when I get the news, newspaper, and put there, I could feel the shape of the, the glass, the, the consistency, kind of soft. But it, because it was too hot, so you could change uh, the consistency. So if I press it, it would get smaller because it needs to cool down 24 hours. Because if you let it cool down too fast, it's not going to be with a good quality glass. So I'm really excited to see the final product that we made. After all the sweating and blowing, running around in the factory, I'm sure Guilherme has burned quite a lot of calories. We head to the outskirts of Xinzhu for some yummy delicacies that I'm sure he's very familiar with. So I'm taking you to this place called Luau. Luau. Yeah, Luau means um, a great place. A great place, yeah. And <laughs> this is actually pretty hipster, right? Yeah. Where you gather culture, music, history, and most importantly, good people and good food. Oh. Yeah, let's head in. Hello, Honda. Hello. 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 Okay, this is Paul. Paul. This is my friend, Hello. 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 你们现在就是在写生,对不对?这位是?这位是姚老师,姚子杰老师。Okay, so this is Mr. Yao. He is a very famous um, artist, artist in Xinzhu. 所以你们周末都会聚集在这边。每次就在这边玩。这个是这里,现在在画这里。I felt it's like a home. It reminds me of Brazil because the Brazilian houses, they are all colorful. Like green, pink, blue, a life color. Bright, yeah. I was talking about good people and good food. Paul Ge, this is good food, right? Hey, this right is over here. Is that comfy? Yeah. Wow, but this is not only for warming your hands, it's yeah. for making good pizza. Pizza? Yeah, wow. maybe, the, maybe the best over at the section. Wow. Yeah. Okay, dig in. This is the Taiwanese. Oh, 
集结了好多不同的文化，包含食物上面也是，它有台湾 local 的这个水果，然后还有这个国外就是西式的风味，在这里都很随性，它只有快乐的元素在里面，是它不一定说只是什么 style 这样子。我觉得你很很很会玩，对不对？对，我喜欢玩，不喜欢赚钱，我喜欢玩。<笑> like making money, he likes that fun and enjoy life. Right? Yeah. No, I was going to say that in his personality, looks like a Brazilian, you know? Really? Yeah, because he's so happy, you know, enjoying life. In Brazil, we are, oh, let's enjoy our life and, and just have fun, you know? Yeah. Brazilians are like that. And we love to be happy all the time. Like smiling, you have fun with friends, relaxing. I think next time that I come to Taiwan, I will come here for sure. Yeah, I, I really love it. They are really nice and they are really artistic. Uh, it's good to talk and you feel really relaxed here. It's, I felt really that I'm at home right now. I will come back for here for sure. Guilherme is more of a hipster kind of guy, a bit more quiet than average Brazilians, but this guy still makes time for sporting. All right. Yeah, we're currently at um, Ba Gua Mountain in Zhanghua, and you want to look at your left side? Wow. Yeah, this is a representative so huge Buddha. Wow. It's, That's famous in Zhanghua. It looks like the Christ, the Redeemer. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. You have the Christ and we have the Buddha. It's like a Taiwanese version of, yeah. of what you have back home. And uh, I know you're an artsy person, but also an outdoor lover. Yeah. I you like biking? I love biking, yeah. Yes. So we arranged this track for you. This is called the 139 track. 139? Yeah, biking track. And it starts from Zhanghua way over that direction. Wow. <laughs> so it's far away. It's pretty far away. A bit tough. But wow. I think you can cope. Yeah, I, I would love it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Bye, Buddha. Bye, Buddha. I like biking because I can see the nature around me. I can feel the, the wind. And it's not really fast like a car yeah. would be. So you can enjoy and look every detail of where you are going to. But not when it's like uphill. It was really, really tiring. Patty was always complaining about, oh, no, I don't want to go up the hills. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Oh god. Where are we going? This is where the farm is. We can get our reward when we arrive there. Oh, Here's yeah. Because it's fresh made ice cream. My body is heating up. Yes. You know? Let's do this. Do you want to go faster? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't give up. We just kept on going. Ice cream, ice cream, ice, ice, cream, cream, ice, cream, cream. ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, yeah. ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. We keep it till, till the end. And I told you before, when we were biking up, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. So you ready for ice cream? Of course, I'm really oh, tired. I need something and to eat. And look what ice cream? No way! Ah, Janet? <laughs> you're here again. You're stalking us. <laughs> I could miss the ice cream. <laughs> totally. So, How are your legs? How are your yeah. legs? Good so far? So far, Good yeah. so far trembling yeah, a little bit. It was really tiring. Well, my ice cream is about to melt. Oh, and I have wow. something prepared for oh, you. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow. Awesome. Eat it this quick. Eat okay. it quick. No. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah. So what did you wow. think of the, the bike trip so far? Wow, it was amazing. It had a lot of decorations mm -hmm. for, bike, yeah. for people biking. Yeah, and all along Highway 139, you're going to pass by a lot of farms. There's a pineapple farm. So then wow. one of the stops that we're going to do is pineapple cakes. Mm -hmm. Pineapple cakes? Very famous in Taiwan. I right. have never ate that one before. You haven't? Never. 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 OK, you have not come to Taiwan if you have not had a pineapple cake. Totally. <laughs> I'm in. Yes. I went to it. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you like the mountains because we have a lot more mountain biking left to go. Wow. You're joining us, right? I'm going to join you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. Until we have we company. To... Yeah. Oh, we have so a biking team. Now. Yeah. Eat up. It's mounting. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh yeah. Got to eat it quick. I was surprised because it, the taste was kind of fresh directly from the cows. Really fresh and milk, creamy, and not artificial at all. Yeah, I wish I could bring it home, but it's going to melt. You ready? Ready? We're good. Let's do this. Now I have a lot of energy to go. Yes, you bike. Yeah. It was awesome to be with Janet. Janet was talking and just showing me around. Because Taiwan is mostly a volcanic island, so there's lots of beautiful mountains like this. Yeah, I guess too.
Yeah, I really like the mountains because back in Brazil, we don't have mountains. And where I live, it's called like the Pampas. And it's really flat. It borders like with uh, Argentina, Uruguay, and the southern part, part of Brazil. I never saw it that like really close, the mountain. And I was so impressed. Like, I would just keep looking at it because it's so beautiful and so huge. Wow. Well, so how would you imagine what our pineapple cake would look like? I think it looks like a pie because of the name. I kind of think it's going to be a big yeah, one. Yeah, I think cake. it would be round. Uh huh. Yeah. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> it's totally. It's small and small. Here it comes. Yeah, it's, it's small and small. It's good. small and it's really delicate. For my surprise, it was totally different. It's, all, it's still warm. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. Then you can see the fiber of the pineapple. It's fresh inside. They cook it for hours. They keep the real flavor of the pineapple. If you leave Taiwan without eating a pineapple cake, then you don't have to Taiwan. <laughs> Does it count? That means you, count. Have, you have to come back. <laughs> you have to come back. It tastes like pineapple, but with a lot of fiber. So it's nice. I really like it. And it's sweet. I love sweet fruits. And uh, I would bring the pineapple cake back home and give it to my friends, my family. Okay, chocolatey treats. Can you see try out? Oh, oh yes! Oh my god! Wow. Earl Grey. Earl Grey chocolate. Earl Grey chocolate. <laughs> I like more a kind of a bitter chocolate, and it was the first time that I ate like 90% chocolate. Wow. It's like pure chocolate. I never tasted it before. Yeah. First time? First time. So good. No, I love it. it it's, it's really bitter, but I love that it's bitter. Yeah. You've got all of different flavors here. Are you in for making some of your own? Oh, look at that, look at that face. Like... <laughs> of course, I'm a sweet tooth. We're going to do which kind of chocolate? Okay. No, I didn't know that Taiwan produced chocolate. I never imagined that. I thought it was something more related with foods like the night markets and that kind of thing. And teas, but not chocolate. I didn't even know. So the temperature is really essential to the quality of the chocolate. Oh, 74. 74 for you. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Can you start right now? Yeah, start right now. Look at this. This is like the world's biggest cup of chocolate milk. Right yeah. Now. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Butter in. All right. Yeah. And I'll lick the plate. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna fight you for that. Yeah. Oh, try some. Try some. Oh, that's good. That's it's pure. This is pure mm, chocolate. Yeah, pure chocolate. Yeah, we made it our, ourselves. It was kind of hard because I was not skilled, you know. I, I kind of actually to make the chocolate get like kind of flat. Wow, I really like it. So yeah, all the bubbles, all the bubbles, bubbles yeah. over here. It was a good experience to make my own chocolate. We made our own art with the chocolate. <laughs> I was not expecting it because I didn't know it was going to happen. And then at that time, I didn't know what to do. And it was kind of hard because you had to put every piece of candy there to make the shape and everything. Time's up! <laughs> All right, you guys, looks yes. like you well, guys had a good time eating. We did. Uh -huh. We ate and our way through this competition. Wow, Patty Years is amazing. What I've created, this looks like in Taipei 101, and it's actually oh, yeah. Taipei 101. MG for Guillerme. Oh. I hope you have a blast. Oh. Oh. No. No. Okay, so this is. <laughs> yeah, now eat it. You are You're welcome. welcome. Can you guess what I did? It's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fox. Almost there. It's a cat. It's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> he has two cats. Yeah. Oh. I have yeah. three cats. Oh, three cats. Like, yeah. Oh, cat lover. Yeah. That's very cute. All right. And your turn. You were giggling all the way. Mine, yeah. I was giggling because I was eating the whole time. But mine is a little bit more complicated. You might not be able to know what it is right away. But this is the island of Matsu. Matsu. So Matsu is an island off of Taiwan um, where they're very famous for their military uh, background. So there's the military buildings. 
And also, this is Matsu. She's the goddess of the sea. And the reason why I drew Matsu is because Patty is going to take you on a plane again. Again? You're going to fly really? to Matsu. No way. And you're going to spend the rest of your trip there. What? Yes, we are. What? <laughs> so for this trip, you yeah. started from Taipei okay. yeah. and all the way to <laughs> Matsu. Matsu. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know about that. I got really surprised. And we are going to Matsu, and I'm going to take another plane. I like flying, and I like the, feel, the feeling of the plane landing and flying. It's exciting for me. I don't know why. I, I really like it. I'm expecting to master the military culture because I wanted to know like about the culture and there's a lot of temples from the goddess Matsu, which is the name of the island. The goddess protects the sea. There's even a statue when I was in the car. The first destination that we went was uh, a temple, the temple of Ma Matsu. It's called Tian Hou Gong and I have a special man to introduce you to. Oh. Hi! Cao is a professional for repairing ancient temple art. So actually, Mr. Cao is an artist himself, and he used to live in Spain, right? Like profession in art. So actually, there's more of his art inside. Okay. Okay. In the temples, there's a rule. We enter by the dragon door and we exit at the Hu Men. Is there a meaning for that? Okay. 但是我觉得这里最让我觉得很很stun是门神。Flakes of real gold。这个是时间。花了很多时间,这个六扇门大概要花我两个多月。Mr. Chow, and he was really skilled artist, and me and Patty, we helped them to repaint it actually. 這個算是是阿斌哥做的。所以這是四十年以來第一次修復。This is the first repair ever since this was built. So really? it's been 40 years. So how long is it going to stay here? I don't know. Maybe you come back in 40 years with your kids and you tell them <laughs> I painted it. I painted this kids. Wow. You know this this is history. I attended history in Matsu, right? Wow, such an, an honor to do that because it's so difficult for, to get the chance, right? So I, I need to come back, you know, to, to visit that. Maybe to come with my family and show, oh, look, I, I have painted that. <laughs> it's soothing, it's a thera it's therapeutic. Yeah. 而且老师我们刚刚在一路上都有看到很多那个酒坛这里的酒是真的来这边不能不喝对不对哦那个金沙酒名的酒它是糯米酒在西班牙叫做阿洛斯的Vino 哦 Vino Yeah Vino So Vino yeah, is Bino. the most famous wine in Mazu Wow Are you in for some tryouts? Of course why not Liquor is okay? Yeah. 好到了到那个 那个义和工法里面，他还可以做做老酒DIY啊。老酒DIY，you can make your own. Really? Yeah. I drink a lot in Brazil, especially in holidays, because I I think alcohol and the culture links together because it's something that has some history to get people together and to be more happy, celebrate. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello.
最主要的东西就是这个红曲，所以我们把它称作它是老酒的灵魂。老酒的原料就是糯米、红曲跟水，就这三个。就这样子而已。就这样。And we learned about how to make like the kind of rice wine. So it's a really different thing because I never drank a, a alcoholic drink with uh, made of rice. Yeah, in Brazil, we, usually our alcohol drinks are made of sugar cane. I never heard about rice. All right, 好，所以我们都教好了，让它慢慢去吸。那因为它这个老酒，它要发酵，大概平均大概要三十一二天左右。OK。所以麻烦把盖子盖上。哇，可是我们这样做的酒，都还没有尝到酒。好，没问题。待会我我做几道料理，它里面有一些这个老酒的成分在里头。So、uh, we'll let this here sit. Okay. And I'm hungry. 吃饭吃饭吃饭。All right, we have a whole table of the delicacies made by the wine. Hi, Hi 黄老板。是。哦，请你品尝一下马祖老酒。So this is the wine we just made. Oh, it's kind of sweet, right? A bit sweet, a bit sour. Sour, yeah. But there's this warm aroma coming. Yeah. It's not so strong. Not like I expected. Not so strong. Not so strong. Yeah. Its alcohol content is about 44%. Okay. Because it's a wine that is a fermentation wine. Yes. It's not a pure wine. But this wine is also fantastic. It's a wine that can be served as a dessert. First, it's this dish. We call it a dessert. Wow. There's a whole dish of meat, meat, and cheese. 那还有马祖的猪脚。Try this soup. 哇，好的。哦，可是好好鲜哦。然后也有放老酒进去。对对对 ，I like it. Does it remind you of any any dish back at home? No. At all? At all. Because it's totally different. It's totally different. Yeah. I love how Guilherme is always welcoming to everything that's new, including the food, the flavor, culture, and I think this is what a traveler should always hope, an open heart. Mazu in winter is quite chilly and very windy, but this old wine feast warmed our tummy and our hearts. I can smell something. Like, yeah. Like wine, right? Like wine, right? They are from here. There's actually wine inside. It's full. Oh, it's a huge version yeah. of the one that we saw. Yeah. So this is called the 88 Tunnel. Mm. Ba ba kung da. Mm. In the very ancient times, it was said that our ancestors came to this island and you know nowhere to hide, so they found this tunnel. But at the end, it ended up in military use. Yeah, so the army actually dug this tunnel even deeper. But now, since there's no war, we keep our own liquors inside. Sort of wine. Yeah. Ooh, it's even dripping. I was wondering if this is alcohol. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just don't say it. I get a little bit. Tipsy here. <laughs> Tipsy, right? Oh, inside is where they're um, brewing the alcohol. Let's go see. Oh, the strong smell, right? It's even more strong than the outside. Wow. So all of these containers, they're brewing um, alcohol. And I think it's interesting that, um, you know, this is how history changes. Before, it's for military. Now, it's for the good liquor, the happiness. Yeah, kind of so, a really huge change. Yeah. So they will sleep here. And they will end up in our tummy tonight. <laughs> Mazu consists of five main islands. Traveling from one another is very easy by boat. So we did a bit of Mazu island hopping, traveled from Nangan to Beigan by boat. Uh, so not only you're a first time flyer in this trip, yeah. a first time boat sailor. Yeah, I've never. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Oh. It's not going to go away. <laughs> never on a boat. Never. Let me hold this. You feel kind of dizzy. Look to the far, look to the far. At first, I was uncomfortable because it was like kind of moving, oh, and I got kind of dizzy. And then I started to get used to it, and then I got really happy. The feeling of being in the sea, like you just see the water, and the boat is really fast, actually. So you get like excited because it's something, yeah, awesome. Like. Okay, we're at Hanhu Beach. And in the old days, these two uh, sides of the sea used to link together when it's high tide. Mm. Yeah, so it's a really, really cool view. Wow. And it's a pretty windy place, huh? I can yeah. see your hair. My hair is all <laughs> It's all over the place. It's really windy. It's so cold, right? Yeah, let's warm up. Warm up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so oh, here it is. What is that? Remember kind of what? Noodles? 
Yes, it's noodles, but smell it first. Smells like fish. Very, very fishy, huh? Okay, so this is the local delicacies, a must try if you're in Matsu. But for us, we need some hot soup. Yeah, because I'm freezing. You know? I'm freezing. Let's come in. Fish noodle, which I never heard about it before. We don't have that kind of noodles in Brazil. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's kind of special. You say it's a fish? Yeah. There's a lot of fish flavor, right? Fish wow. flavor inside because they use the fresh fish. Finally, we get to warm up ourselves yeah. with hot soup. And after this, when we are all warmed up, we may have energy, we're going to this place. Wow, it looks beautiful. Looking at the traditional Mingdong style architecture of Qingdi village is like traveling through time. This used to be the most prosperous village in this whole island. So me and Guilherme walking around the village, we were imagining the hustle and bustle that happened right here in the ancient times. The beauty of this traditional architecture style is now rarely seen. For a host, the best feeling is that your guest enjoys wherever you bring him. So I'm really happy that Guilherme appreciates this. I've had so much fun having him. Pretty oh, chilly, huh? Oh. So cold, right? <laughs> but with the good view, I think the ancestors here that they really know how to chill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they kind of pick the best spot on this whole island. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's the end of your trip already. Yeah. And I think you quite enjoyed this Taiwan trip, huh? Yeah, I, I love it. Especially the cultural things. Yeah. I had so much fun. I've met a lot of people. Yeah. And they helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and I got really touched. You know, um, once you speak their language, you speak our language, yeah. you get really close to the people, right? Yeah, you get mm. really close. So, You'll come back again. I will come back to Taiwan for sure. I'm going to really miss it because everyone that I met kind of changed my life in, in some way, gave me some inspiration, and I'm really, I don't know, I got really emotional with this, this trip. Yeah, it makes me feel that I need to come here again to meet all those nice people again, to know more about Taiwan. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. To be, to be sure, like, I don't know, I didn't want to leave Taiwan because I really like here. I think there's much more things for me to explore. And I, I kind of got, got like, touched by Taiwan because I, uh, it was my dream to come here. I, I will come to Taiwan for sure because I love here. <laughs> and love the people, the weather.